and welcome to Bench Monster TV. I'm Ashley Lynn Condre. And I am the Bench Monster. Thank you for joining us this week. Always good to have you here. Always good to have you here. Thursday night, 7 p.m., Thursday, my favorite night of the week. almost made it to Friday. Aside from Max Effort Bench on Tuesday night, this is my favorite night. Except it wasn't my favorite night this Tuesday night because I had a horrible Max Effort workout, which you we'll get to. You were strong. No, I wanted to be strong, but it, there's a long there's a there's a backstory to it. You didn't tell me this. Well, we did a lot of lot a lot of volume on Friday speed bench. You know, we're doing a hypertrophy phase, and it just uh, well we'll see it down the road. But it um, it wiped me out, and I was a little pissed. So, okay. but we're gonna change some things up now. Uh, got the new dark side hat on tonight. Yes, Forza, because we got a new we Forza bench side. in the gym, and uh, you'll see me utilizing that bench in max effort. Ashley got a new toy. And you'll see that in speed bench video. What is it? It's a, called a bench band. It's made by Dark Side. Dark Side. It's called the Surge. The Surge bench band. Let me tell you something. Uh, very impressive. Right out of the box, you thought it wasn't going to work. I was worried. Yeah. Because it seemed, yeah, I was a little worried. But uh, and I was I, very wrong. I know. You're very wrong. No. Very wrong. And I knew that was going to work. I knew it was going to be magic. when I'm wrong. And it was magic. And you, magic. you've done some great things. And you want to sew this into your body? Is my that God, what? God, yes. I want to okay. sew this into my body. No, well, we're going to figure out how to do that. Anybody that knows how to sew good, I want to sew this into my body so that I can use it in competitions. And it's just so fun. you can bench 300 in a contest at 132. Like uh, Jennifer Thompson. Jennifer Thompson. Jennifer Weed Thompson. I don't know how she does that. Okay, I got a bunch of notes here. We got a bunch of people to cover, a bunch of lifts to cover. All over the place. We uh, always. Well, mine, the one I wanted to do doesn't didn't work. What did you want to do? Tasha. Well, we'll get her maybe next week. And we got a big, big announcement for next week. We'll talk about it later in the show. Uh, possible guest. Um, everything works out. We will have a really, really amazing, badass man on the show. I'll speak more about it later. Uh, let's get into Ashley's videos first. Ashley, you have a bench, a squat, and a deadlift. I do. Okay, let's go to bench. Talk us through it. Uh, That's me. I can't remember which Monday night. Wearing the fuck mental weakness shirt. My favorite shirt. <laughs> I know you wear it. I always wear it. Love that shirt. Todd B. Craft. I love Todd. So what do, what do you got here? Shirt. What's the weight? 160. 160. All right. I'm handing off. This is like late on a Monday night. Uh, I get off where I work. All day at school, then I go coach for several hours, and then we get to the gym a little after 8. So, kind of a late night at the gym. I'm usually kind of just, like, done with the day. But so, you got to go bench. You know. After working two jobs. You know. And then your third job's powerlifting. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. And one day powerlifting will pay. There's money out there. Uh, let's go to the squat here. What are we doing on the squat? I see some APT knee wraps. Yeah, my favorite. Um, I, I'm spotting. 290, I think. Why don't you use my cam my video camera setup so you can have quality Do videos? Do you ever bring it? No. Yeah. Well, how much? Your phone on the ground. Oh, that's a nice squat. Thank you. But you do this all the time. What do you mean? You're good at it. Squats? Yeah. That's why I practice it all the time. I also do other things, but I don't film the other things because, I don't know, like I isolation and other things aren't as exciting. I could film those like you do, but. Yeah. Looks like you're doing I three. Could bring, I could bring your camera in. Five reps or something here? What are you doing? I just don't have that much memory on my phone. Um, five. It was five sets of five. Five sets of five. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to cruise and just keep cruising. We won't stop. Uh, deadlift. I don't know anything about it. What are you doing? Um, so chains. Cha one chain, okay. Ch chains are one of my favorite. I started with two, and then I dropped it to one. Two was kind of like... 315. How much is that? It's 380. 380, and a 20 pounds. That's my link, a chain? Yes. Which is 20 pounds at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... So, I like, I'm like. i trying to work back up to being able to do this with 400. Uh, I really like these because... Um, they really like my lockout is my weakest point and they like mentally i think they help me because they like train my brain like that because it, it flies off the floor as you can see mo most of the time 
but it slows down massively towards the top. Yeah, and the so chains are off. When I know those chains are on there, I know it's getting heavier at the top. And so, you so have I'm to like, pull, pull harder. To, yeah, squeeze, squeeze harder and thinking about that more. And then when I take the chains off later on, you know, because I train with them for a while. Right. And then um, I take them off, and my brain's like, I, I, it flies off the floor, and I'm like, it's not going to get any heavier than this. Cool. And it just feels way better. That's the way it's supposed so to be. So I, I, I really bands like too. bands. Yeah. yeah, same thing with bands. Bands, okay. Yeah. I like bands too. My back's been injured, so I haven't played around with bands too much. Because when I do bands, I do the double mini bands. And that's just so much pressure. But I'll probably start doing this again because I'm starting to get back to normal. Normal? Okay. Well, Maybe that's good. I, I'm afraid yeah. to say that and jinx myself. Yeah, you want to yeah, knock on wood. You're, gonna, you're coming back. Yeah. Okay, now you sent me a bunch of videos yesterday, and I did the best I could on getting what I could get. No, they didn't. We didn't. We didn't get everything we wanted, but we got a little bit of something. I don't know why. Uh, you got uh, Hunt, Hunter Henderson uh, bench press here. I believe it's three twenty-five. I just got her uh, in, a, in, a, in a squat next, and uh, this is an impressive lady. She squatted six fifty at the Kern U.S. Open. I didn't get that video. No. I, I was, I was buried in work, but the, I, I thought the, I think it says 325. That's what I have written down. Impressive individual. Well, her squat. Now, if this is 600, I mean, it's like 135. I got to get close to so see this. So 600 one. for an opener, opener yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Well, and for an opener. No question on depth either. I mean, it's very talented yeah, person no, here. You cannot say anything bad about it. Uh, you can't take nothing away from this no. woman. I, I've i watched this like five times a day. Look at that. That's like three inches below parallel. It comes up like 135. Okay. I I am not worthy of, of squatting anything. That's so wild. Yeah. Well, I want to get her 660 on here. I'll just have to figure out how to get that I'm from so her We're gonna have Instagram Tasha. page. Uh, my friend Tasha is amazing. Tasha she, Wolf she, Whalen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, exactly. Tasha okay. Wolf Whalen. Um, she was at the Kern. Yeah, she was at the Kern. And... Uh, She's just super, super impressive. I know she didn't hit um, the numbers like that she wanted, but they were still inc impressive. incredible. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, and I wanted to post those, but for some reason, um, when Ryan went to do it, he could only do. Um, I could only steal her, so many videos. Her first attempts for some reason. Um, and so we thought about playing those, but I'd rather try again to get the the rest of them and i might even try to pull a couple of her other like other videos of her too um just to show her because she's absolutely amazing um and she's she's a lifter that i've actually like gotten to lift with several times um at competitions she's the one that cost me a bunch of money at that one meet that we had here because if she wanted to show that. up i would yeah, yeah you would want to, i knew yeah. and i knew it as soon as i saw that she was doing it, i was like well i'm very excited to see her but buy yeah. money. Yeah, money i won some money but not the big you didn't win the, you <laughs> the, the big, big bread <laughs> okay what do we got, got okay. next oh um so so she will we'll have her on not probably not next week because we have something special like a special guest next week yeah but the following week, um, we'll show off Tasha well, a little if, bit. If, it, if all the planets are aligned and everything works, we will have the guest. But you know, shit happens. Yeah, I know? almost blew. I almost blew it. Yeah, don't blow it. We're, 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 we'll talk about that later. Like special guest. He's special. Very special. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll like this one. We're, um, excited. we're very excited. Can anybody guess who it is? Yeah. Any gu any guess? Any guesses? Let's see if anybody can guess. Um, let's give him a it's hint. One that's been talked about for a Talks long time. Talks about. Um, he's a legend. He's an OG. He's from the old school, like me. Uh, he bench presses, and I think that's about gives it away. Let's move on. Okay. Um, uh, don't say nothing. Mark Henry. Uh, no, he doesn't bench. He just talks tough, and he's a big pussy cat. Okay. So speaking of dark side, John Elliott got a hold of me today. Sent me some videos, and I was going to put them on the show tonight of his girlfriend, uh, Shannon Carmen, and she is going to be doing, first off, a 250 raw bench. Let's check it out. Come on. Get this left. Settle. Three. 
Nice lift there. Very impressive. And if that wasn't impressive enough, we got a uh, we got her doing a 405 bench press here. Two-way one board in the Viper One. Come on. It's that lightweight shit. Let's Original go. Viper. I really like this because this weight flies almost shoots out of her hands and that's the beauty of these band shirts I really like to see weight like this move that fast it's so awesome okay good I think the Viper one is a single or double ply I'm not sure it could be both big air big air but this is how the shirt's supposed to work right here you might see Ashley Condre in a shirt like this soon. Maybe. We don't know. Open. I'm on top. Lower. Lower. Look yep. at that. I mean, boom. <laughs> Effortless. <laughs> so you're doing, you're doing like 300, 315 in this bench band. Mm -hmm. Now you get like a Viper 1. What are you going to do? 415? Oh, God. I don't know. Can you, I don't know because at some point, like, your joints can't, like. Well, at some point, it's... Uh, Handle what the yeah. shirt can. Or with, well, yeah. it depends. Well, I think you can go a lot higher. You, you used to do static holds at 315 a long time ago. Uh, what do we got now? Uh, Forrest Jenkins, a uh, guy that's on my Bench Monster crew. Uh, guy has... Squatting? A, he's squatting. Yeah, he's going to be doing a squat here. Uh, Forrest came to us, and uh, he's just been nothing but positive, and he brings he's fire, very, very nice and he's energetic. And mm -hmm. um, there was a time... When was it? Not too... like. A Tuesday or something ago, I was, I think it was last, last Tuesday, I was in the gym and I was fatigued and I was pissed because I was, I was having to deload and I was like dragging ass and I looked at him and he's bouncing around with energy and I kind of like thrived off of that and it gave me like a second wind. That's so let's throw a forest, yeah, uh, like that around for sure. 655 squad here. Yeah. This is at our gym here. I was impressed by it. I think forest is about 310 pounds something like that. Good squatter. I'm not sure how much it is. He likes to do all three lifts. Likes to do them raw. Get out of that hole. There you go. A little bit of a lean forward, but you know what? With technique and a little bit more time. Strong. Yeah, we're gonna build him up. And uh, he just likes being at the gym, man. Yeah. And he and he's got uh, a lot of positive energy. Kind of like uh, kind of like Tiny like Meeker energy. Guy. Yeah. You know. I like him. Yeah. Though. Okay. I like him. Where are we at now? Oh, Jamal. Oh, this guy's cool. Uh, Jamal Browner. Everybody's probably heard his name. Somebody sent me this video. It's a 1,050 sumo uh, deadlift. I believe he's like a 275, and uh, this guy's just a beast. And uh, I wish I could make this look this easy myself. Strong man right there. Feel that bar. <laughs> Whoa. He, he does that on a consistent basis. I think he pulls 900 like in three lift meets all the time. So, well, probably. Yeah, yeah strong, thing. and he's young, which is nice when you're when you're young and you got. I mean, he's not like me, like ninety nine years old. So, uh, where are we at now? Oh, this. Okay, who sent me this one? I get a lot of videos sent to me, so I don't know. I, I usually write down who sent it to me. So, uh, Red, R E G E Bush is his uh, Instagram handle. I believe his name's Chris, and uh, he's doing a little bit of a seven fifty five and hundred pounds of chains to a two board in the three ply evil twin at a body weight of two sixty two sixty five. And we, we expect to see big things from him in the future. Uh, three ply evil twin. I've never wore a Titan evil twin, but I know um, Kolb is big on Titan products. Oh yeah. Speaking of Kolb, he's up next. Him, don't they? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Somebody just sent me a uh, Instagram message. Did I see Jimmy Kolb's 1005 and the Titan Ram? I said, no, where's the video? So I wish I would have had that this evening. But it won't surprise me that he did that. Uh, what I have here is Jimmy Kolb. What is he doing? Oh, a 585 reverse grip bench, which I thought was very cool. And then he goes on to do 495 for nine reps with the reverse grip. Let's check Jimmy Kolb out here. With the reverse grip. Uh, when was this done? Was this recent? I don't know. You know, I get a lot of videos, and I don't know the, the timelines on them. But my God, son. My best is 500, and that's just effing around. Damn. Now he does 495 here. My God, son. Gee. Wild. Wow. 
insane. Uh, oh, he's keeping that in his hand. Doing that. I don't think Jimmy Kolb knows what fatigue is. I think he just has like He's oxygen. So impressive. Yeah, just impressive. And like shit, man, that was that impressed me. The five eighty five was enough. And then I, then uh, he, yeah, that's what I was saying. Then he just I had to rub it in with four four ninety five for I believe it was nine reps. So watch me do most uh, of you guys' dream bench press with reverse grip rate. Right? Pete Santi throwing up some weight again. Seems like every week he's repping five hundred something. Uh, what are we doing, Pete? Pete Santi doing 545 for five reps. Looks like a self handoff too, which is even more impressive. I got to get a hold a hold of Pete and see exactly what uh, what his training regimen looks like. We're gonna put our heads together and come up with a uh, program together and send him to a big show and uh, raise that raw bench at the 275 record because he can do it. He's a strong kid. Perfect form too. Well, I love watching him bench. Oh yeah, he's flawless. I mean, I mean, he reminds flawless. me, you know, when he comes down of uh, Kirill. I mean, when he comes down, it's everything's just controlled. Control. The bar does not sink one inch. And it just feathers his material on his chest. It's impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we at? Oh, cool deadlift. Okay, okay. Uh, Boneyard three seven four zero Instagram handle sent me this cool deadlift, and uh, I thought it was cool. Uh, maybe people do this all the time, but. It looks like straps and some 45s with little handles on them. Whoa. And, uh, yeah, that's um, that's a lot of back. Uh, yeah, because I, I played it a few times. I didn't know if he was using the handles to hold on to or he was. Let's, let's watch that again. It goes up. I mean, that's just, ouch. He's a buff bastard, too. Damn. Yeah. There's no doubt. That looks hard. <laughs> I am not going to be trying that anytime soon. Um, but I thought it was a cool deadlift. And like I say, people send me videos, and I like to throw them on here and showcase them. Uh, oh, Danny. Who's Danny? Where's Danny? Oh, Danny Rodriguez sent me a video. He's doing a bench opener here in a contest, and I told him I put it on the show. I don't know the exact weight. I emailed him back. I kind of tried to figure it out. I don't know if there's kilos involved there. It looks like 270. It looks like somewhere around three. Over three. It was hard to tell. 300-something. But he's at a meet here. He's doing his bench opener. I said, Danny, I said, I'm going to post this for you. Hell yeah. Congratulations to you, sir. Very good. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're at my speed bench workout. The one that destroyed me. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about the. Oh, there's a lot going on in this speed bench workout. First off, we have uh, what, what we're doing, obviously. And then we have uh, Nathan, young Nathan, hits yeah. a PR of three. Did you send him his video? I did not send him his videos, okay. but I will work on that. 315, then we have Jake Stoker, the one of the our yeah. gym owner. Yeah. Uh since I had my camera there and he was over there doing some trap bar deadlifts, I put him on the spot and we made him <laughs> we made him pull up some weight. So let's uh this uh anyway, long story short, this speed bench workout here destroyed me for Tuesday. Um I'll be first to admit it. I knew that it might because we're doing uh eight sets of eight on incline, and then we went immediately over to the shoulder press machine and did six sets of eight there. So I knew the delts, I knew the front delts, the shoulders were done, and Tuesday I was done. But it was a great workout, let's go through it. Speed bench. Uh, well. I was I was supposed to pick my own weight. So I was like 225, and you know what I'm thinking right here? I'm like, this ain't gonna look good on video. I'm a motherfucking bench monster. I'm doing 225 on incline. I can't post that. I'm like, I got to go up. So uh, long story short, I think I do. I think I had a 10. I wanted to do 315. But I knew damn well if I went 315 for eight sets of eight, I would be a vegetable on Tuesday. So I opted out for 275, which was still too much. Felt good doing it the whole time, but I paid the price, as we'll see on Max Effort video. So I go to a 10. Here I am thinking again. Oh, the camera's going. Bench Monster Crew TV is, uh, that's not going to be impressive. Anybody can do 235 and fucking incline. I was like, and it didn't. I was like, that. these are just warm ups or whatever. I'm like, okay. I'm like, right now I'm thinking, okay, my weight's going to be 275. I think I can handle that. Hey, what's the name of Jake's dog? Dirk. Dirk yeah. yeah, Dirk, the the brown lab. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, in the gym. It's like a petting zoo. 
we still need to bring our cat to the gym. All right, Forrest yeah. is going to Forrest is going to try to match me. And um he didn't have any problems on Tuesday. But when I stepped it up to here, this is where my work sets began and I just uh I obliter destroyed myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to use any fancy words. I destroyed myself. Okay, yeah, I'm not touching, but still, you do eight sets of eight like that. I'm not used to that type. That front delt, oh my god, it's hard to watch. <laughs> really? Oh, it just it burned me out. It was like it was like this wasn't enough. We had to go do the shoulder press machine for more oh, six sets fun. of eight. Oh fuck! It was, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. But you know, outside of a contest, you got time to do things like this and play around a little bit. And I like switching things up. You know, normally we uh, do nine sets of three, ten sets, twelve sets of three when we're getting ready for a contest, but a uh, contest is getting close. I think it's July, right? 10th? I don't Talk know about what the that exact later. day is, yeah. but you haven't printed the entry form out for I know. like I've asked you 18 times. So I don't believe I filmed the whole shenanigans here, but, uh, and then we, uh, no, this, did we go to push down? Oh, maybe we went to push downs after this and then shoulder. I don't remember. I can handle this. I mean, this is all right. Some banded push downs, you know, I think we did, uh, Six sets of 10, and uh, I've got it all the way racked. Ashley in the background there warming up for bench. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're saving our elbows by not doing a lot of rolling dumbbells at the at this time, but we're also, um, I'm not liking what, I don't like the shoulder stuff that we did on top of the incline. It was just too much. But you know what? I'm not afraid of change, and I'll do different workouts, and I'll try different things. And there's all types of science behind it. Uh, N young Nathan here needed mm -hmm. a good handoff with 315. His best is 305. And I said, you know nice. what? Let me video this. Now that he's he's on video, he's got to put it up. You know, you got to impress everybody here. So mm -hmm. we're over there yelling at him. He's got good form. Don't want him to get hurt. He just did 305 like 10 minutes before this. And I was just a little nervous there. I didn't want anything to happen. So you work it. There you go. 315. Nice. nice lift, Nathan. <laughs> he was happy with that, too. I bet he was. He works hard. <laughs> He's into real estate, and he works... In, oh, here we go. Very cool guy. Uh, this machine. Yeah, I'd, uh, two plates and a quarter, and a lot of reps here, and you might as well kiss Tuesday goodbye, because this... I don't mind working hard, but, uh, you know, sometimes you do too much on a light day or a speed day you pay the price on max effort day and that's what happened to this kid kid yeah i'm a young man you're not a kid son. i'm a kid kid at heart so anyway lots of shoulder press here and then i believe we do some rear delt uh inverse peck and oh here's jake stoker pulling uh six go. plates and a quarter with, with Doug in the background, with, I love it. With Dirk in the background. Love it. I told him he's going to be on the show. He's got to pull it. This is a 50-pound PR, I believe. Are you sure? Or one or the other. Or no, was it? One or the other. I don't know. It's still impressive. Okay. I'm, I'm, it might have been. I'm not, I'm not sure. I can't remember. And then we finish with some well, rear delts are very important. Uh, we do rear delts, and then we flip around and do some pec deck. I think it was 20 reps each way, two sets. And I believe Ashley comes in the scene here pretty soon with her bench band and destroys things. <laughs> it's the coolest thing ever. I, love I was it. impressed. <laughs> you were in the video. You, you're smiling afterwards. All I know is tomorrow. I want to have a great bench day on Tuesday. We got. I got to do some. I got to go. I think I got to go 11:05. And uh, Scott Mendelson got a hold of me the other day and uh, he got it under my skin and I need to start going heavy because Mendelson's got a 1200 in him right now. So no time to dilly dally. I gotta start stepping it up. I think you're next, Ashley. Really? But yeah, you're next. Well, Our workout was pretty simplistic. I mean, we inclined, we did the shoulder press, we did the push downs with the band, we did this. Simplistic enough to kick your ass. Yeah, oh, it destroyed me, yeah. As little as it was, it was a lot. And here's Ashley with her uh, new toy of the day. And you got two... Oh, no, you have... Did you have my... This is only two cents. Yeah, two, I got both, I think. I hope I do. You better. 
I mean, and this this is cool. But what do you yeah. think about this? Like, this is your first attempt at like I was uh, off terrified. A, your Enzer nineteen oh two poly single only took you to two twenty five. So now you're fifty pounds above that. Yeah, this is the most I've ever. Other than for static holds, this is the most I've ever had. Well, we weren't too sure bench. what was going to happen here. I, ha I had you put. Is this with both layers or a single layer of the bench band right now? This I is can't two. Remember. That's two layers. It might be. I see. I couldn't remember how we did it. So on Monday, I couldn't remember. I was going to try to do it the same warm up the same way but sorry for the downtime here i don't know why you're taking so long to set up how dare you because i was nervous <laughs> that's nothing to be nervous about and it's hard to set up it's hard to get under you saw how like i keep getting way too far out away from you yeah you keep complaining about it and i, I well, this is our it. this is our first shot this is like the real shot in the bench band here yeah because i think this is... i went 185 225 275, 275. big jump because I did it after all of my raw. Work. All your raw work. So I wasn't too sure, and she just goes, boink. Uh -huh. oh. And I was like, that was nice. Now hopefully you got one more in here, or I dropped the ball. I'm pretty sure I got, yeah. Well, what is it? 300. 300. 300 pounds for Miss Ashley here. With highlighted 300 dark side green showing. <laughs> I like it. This was a big, this is a big lift for you. To <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 300 pounds. Yes, it is. Yeah. But this is a great way to overload. Yeah. And those triceps are working hard. And you locked it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were cheering too. Here's <laughs> my yep. Yeah, we were impressed. Yep. That was cool. That yeah. Was, well, you, it was you, very fun. You ruled I, the day. I really hey, did enjoy it. Darksidegear.com, Bench Monster 10. Take advantage of that promo code right there, ladies and gentlemen. Get 10% off your entire order because the Bench Monster sent you. Oh, yeah. Oh, max effort. Debacle. Mess. Okay, so going into max effort, I knew when I woke up uh, Saturday, I was sore. Sunday, I was like, okay, maybe if I rest Sunday and Monday, you know, think I'll come. No. Come into max effort. Everybody that worked out, well, except Forrest. Forrest was hopping around. But everybody else was, like, kind of beat up and, and was, was talking deload. And I, I didn't want to deload. I wanted to go on the new Forza bench with the new band pegs. I don't want to do the Canelli favorite bench press method, which is double light bands to a bench bar, which is 180 bench pounds of band, band tension at the top. And when you hook it to the bar, it's 225 at the top without a weight on the bar. Mm -hmm. And it, it's uh, it's a humbling exercise because most people get buried at a plate in a 35 with that type of band tension. So I, I, I got buried, at, you know, at the end of the day. I, if I had to gauge like where I was, like in a percent percentage, I always say, you know, am I 90% that day? I was probably 75%. And I, I got buried with uh, a weight that I usually throw up on any given day. But when the front delts are strained and they just, oh, they were just hurting. So let's go into max effort and we'll walk through this. All right. On the new Forza bench. Thank you, Impact Fitness. Yes. Thank you, Giorgio. They saw a need and they took care of it. Forza Spokane. I mean, best bench you could ever get. And I benched all my world records on it. And I can't say enough about it. So here we are with, uh, I use kilos today. I'm using a Rogue bar because the bench bar is next door to me on the other bench. And I'm just like, uh, I know I want to get to, you know, at least 400 in uh, bar weight and the rest in band tension. That's usually where I meet my maker somewhere up in there so i'm like well that felt good um two reds uh i said that felt good and uh three reds you make it look like it's not that much well tension. that's that's <laughs> what is that ashley 375 yeah the bar weight and 180 band okay this one here i felt the front delts say no at the top like i want to drop it down as fast as possible but right at the top there when I flexed them, I was like, oh, I knew I was done. But that's not going to stop me. So put on some 20 kilos there. That's uh, a little over 600 at the top. And um, I did not do well here. I came down and I came up, but the front delts just uh, screamed in fatigue. I Oh, it's, that wasn't triceps there. It's just all that, all that damn benching on Friday. I, I was done. I didn't like that. So then I'm going to come next door here where Ryan Hines has been nursing a clavicle rear delt uh, impingement, took the week off, wasn't sure what he was going to do, and uh, decides to throw on 375. I didn't think he was going this heavy, 
And uh, so he's going to just uh, on this day throw that up, I guess. And so not too much pain. He wasn't. Yeah, um, he, he's a little bit of pain. Uh, Forrest is going to come over saying. and try my concoction. And uh, that's a little bit of weightage there for him. That's 265 and 180 in band tension. So it's a, it's a, it's a beast within itself. Oh, he works through it, though. Wow. Love that bench. Thank <laughs> you, for the It's very nice. Ryan Hines here with a 425. I didn't know he was going wow. this heavy today. I was like, dude, are you sure? Yeah. And he's asking for it. And I'm like, all right, man. And it didn't hurt too bad. Oh, this this is the fastest I've seen him put it up. Jesus. Yeah. I was like, okay, you're not hurting. Uh, let's not be too bad, right? So what's now. he do? He goes to 485. And I'm staying close, of course. But this right here well, throws it up. Maybe a week off might be what the bench monster needs. Good straight line. Hey, he took a week off, and uh, I'm impressed. Strong as I've seen him look. That's that's good. I'm okay, glad, so floor press. Um, I'm sorry. Close grip floor press. What I'm doing here is definitely keeping the elbows flared out so it's all tricep. I know if I tuck the elbows and utilize a little bit of front delt, I don't have it. So mm. I'm flaring my elbows. It's almost like a, a, a press, a above the clavicle almost that seems to be where i was most comfortable uh heinz was going to test the waters and see if it irritated his impingement lightweight doesn't do it but when you get heavier it does uh the plan of the day was two plates keep adding chains doing uh reps of five so here i am with three chains my chains are 20 pounds a piece so that's 120 in, in uh, chains right there in 225. And uh, I wanted to get to five chain. I, nobody uh, thought I was going to keep adding chains, but I just, that's what I kept doing. Mm -hmm. I believe Forrest gets down, down, down there and hits it. No, or Hines do it. I don't know who's going here. Some strategizing going on amongst the crew. Just like it. Yeah, if we had the audio on, it'd be good to hear. <laughs> All right, Heinz with 225 and 120 in chain. Boom. Uh, universal sticky point. Louis talks about it on the floor press. And uh, we haven't done floor press in a while. And this is one of the exercises that we've been neglecting. And I thought, well, what a better time. Uh, well, eight chain, 160 in chain. Uh, as you can see, the grip is uh, right next to smooth. That felt good, but uh, five chains didn't go so well. I really thought I was going to have a great video of five chains, but uh, the dying quail mm -hmm. took effect, as you will see. Yeah. But you're still a strong man. Well, even on my, on, my, on my weekday, I still try to exert. I probably should have deloaded it, but it's not in my nature. I'll drive myself into the ground. There's optimal training, there's undertraining, and there's overtraining. I'm I lean heavy on the overtraining side. I like to work hard. Uh, 200 pound of chain, 225. This was all great and dandy for one rep, for two reps, for three. Oh, mm -hmm. dying. Oh. Now here, look at the cheat legs. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, everybody's got to come help. I'm done. I was under the uprights. I was, yeah, laugh now. <laughs> hey. You know, I, hey, I I fell all you see me shit out all the time, but I never I don't see that from you very rarely. And I haven't done rolling dumbbells in in a, in a couple weeks, so I was like, okay, I don't get them all here, but uh we did uh we did like six sets of six and we tried to go heavy. I didn't get all the heavy ones. I just got the first few in there. I actually went up to 80s, and they were yelling at me, why don't I go 105s? And I say, shit, not today. It was disappointing, because I don't like to waste any heavy bench uh, workout. There's only four in a month. There's four Tuesdays that we max out, and so those are important. So I will not do that again, like tomorrow. I already talked to Ryan Hines about it. We came up with a plan so that uh, Tuesday we are not uh, destroyed. We will That's kick good. some ass. Well, that is all the fun and games that I have. I wow. will leave it to you to go to the chat box 
and right. I'll scroll to the, oh wait, should we just talk about uh, who the I guest guess. is? A lot of people guessed it. Well, who got it first? Jerry Cool got it first. Yep. It yeah, it is Mendelson. Scott Mendelson. Spoke to Mendelson last next. night, he expressed interest, so I just need to uh, confirm with him and uh, we should have Scott Mendelson on next week. It'll be fun. And, uh, and uh, we'll just let him have the show. And uh, who knows what's going to happen? It'll be good. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope he's. Oh, nothing happens. You know, like hope the world asteroid doesn't hit the hit the Earth or the internet goes kaput or something like that. Then might be a little more likely, but yeah. But so hopefully that's that's the plan. Hope. I will call him Monday morning and request a. Uh, I need an intro from Scott. You know, as I as I introduce people, my next guest, and everything I read right there is from the uh, the guest himself. And I believe Mendelssohn is, I was thinking about it tonight on the way home from the gym. You know, I think he's the only guy to hold the raw and the shirted record at one time. Is that right? I think so. I, I want to say it. so, yeah. I would confirm it. That was, I remember he had 7 715 and he had the the shirted bench too. I don't know which one. It was, it's been a long time ago. Well, Ashley, Miss Ashley, read some questions here. We got a lot of people. All right. Petco Yochev. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hope you're doing okay. I wanted to ask if Ryan is a fan of isolateral work. For example, like how Matt Winning has a whole week devoted to iso work. Uh, not myself, no. But I do follow Matt Winning on Instagram, and I, I follow a lot of his exercise. In fact, I nicknamed um, Winning Extensions after him. He leans into a, uh, looks like a preacher. Well, I don't mean to switch subjects, but no, I don't. I don't. I don't devote a whole week. I have a specific way I train, and it's gotten me where I am today. But you tell you what, though, if, if uh, I called Matt Winning and I said, Matt, uh, prescribe me a workout routine, and I would follow it, and I would do it, and I would probably make gains. I believe every program or every anything that people do works. It's just a matter of, uh, of uh, doing it correctly and doing it consistently. So I, wouldn't, I would not um, turn it down. I would definitely – I need to go hold of Matt, too. I haven't talked to him in a while. I think he wanted to give me a 14 week uh, speed bench That'd routine. Cool. He offered yeah. it to me at the Arnold. So, and I, yeah. For fun to try it. Yeah. It's fun. like Petco has a question for you, Miss Ashley. I see that. And also was wondering why does Ashley not use many variations of the classic lifts? Obviously, it works for her, but if I were her, I would have burnt out pretty easily with too much classic lifts. Um, I do, I do, do a lot of um, variations of the lifts, and I do a lot of. Um, isolation work and assistant stuff i just don't usually film it um as you see i'm from our, my videos i'm just using a little phone um that doesn't have very much i i've already i mean i don't know why i say little but it doesn't have a whole lot of storage i mean it it's, does, 100, it's 120 gig and you got a full i use i use so much a lot of lifting videos and just a lot of stuff um and so i don't you know i can't use too much memory um i've already have to go through and delete constantly um because it'll uh get to the point where i won't record but anyway hmm. um i you know and then and, you know and i think we showed it we showed a video at the beginning of this show where i was doing um deadlifts with chains and i do deadlifts with bands um like i mentioned earlier um recently i haven't do, been doing that quite as much because of my back i've been taking it a little bit easier i've just now kind of been getting back to um, where I feel like I can do some of the things I've been um, avoiding, like deficit deadlifts. I've just started throwing those in again. And uh, block pulls. I like to do block pulls for my lockout because my lockout's um, my weak point. And now that I'm getting you know back up to 400, I can start put, you know putting it up on blocks when I'm done and kind of adding weight to it. And um, bench, I always do after I do my main bench work I do some other form of it whether it be um, dumbbells um, flat incline or floor press or mm -hmm. incline bench um, or close grip bench um, you just don't film all of it I just don't film yeah. all of it I just film the the, the good stuff the, the main lifts um, because I do believe in always throwing those in um, with raw work I don't believe in maxing out every day or you know going to failure on them every day um, but i do believe in doing them and practicing them and just being super comfortable with those movements um I, i've been training for 13 years and i've tried a lot of different things and i did try where um i would do nothing but you know i'd do a variation for a little while 
and then, you know, when I wouldn't do like a normal, you know, I wouldn't do the classic lift for a while because I'd have my chunk of whatever variation I was doing. And I just, I didn't find as much success as I do when I'm practicing them all the time. Like I said, I usually do that. And then my second movement will be some sort of variation. So <laughs> if that answers your question. I think you answered it thoroughly. Okay. Now we're... Oh, me Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak. How is your mom and how is Miss Ashley? Mom is doing good. Mom's doing good. We got Mother's Day coming up. We got Mother's Day coming up. We got to figure out what we're doing. Bath and Body Works, so I know what we're doing. Well, I know that. Hopefully she's not watching it. Oh. Well, <laughs> I, not. She knows probably. But, <laughs> um, but we got to figure out, like, because I got to celebrate it with my mom. So do we go to Moses Lake? Or... But that's a conversation for later. Yeah. So uh, next... Uh, Gavin, um, and I'm I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. I had a pretty good week. Things are going going pretty well. Thank you. Gavin Smith has a question. Ryan, are you going to be competing at Summer Smackdown at Rob's meet? The roster says you and Barodi have standing invitations. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of texts about I'm on I'm I'm on a list for a meet out there, and uh, I never committed or signed up or said yay or nay. So. Um, not that I'm aware of. No, I actually have a meet planned in July. In fact, a week after the fourth, it's one within driving distance where I don't have to fly three people out to go hand off for me. We can drive uh, three hours down the road. Hopefully that's the game plan. Uh, if all works out. So next question, please. Um, CJ Morgani. Hey, everyone. Hope the Bench Monster family had a great week. You too, CJ. Thank you. I'm glad you're able to join us. Always good to see you here. T. Pressifer, I found I can do increased volume only twice a month or I can't recover mm. in my 40s also. Thank you, T. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a different ball game. Um, 40s uh, compared to 20s. It is different. Paul Loeffler. Paul Laffer. Hey guys, how's it going? I was finally able to do some heavy JM pressing on decline with bands and some heavy rolling mm. dumbbells. Tricep is doing better. Did Good, he, Paul. We're Paul, really did glad you to say he what, what was it? JM pressing on decline with bands. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. That, that could be an exercise for tomorrow. Very cool. Yeah, you know. I'm about to add that to my list of tricep exercises. Very nice. Dave. Glad your tricep is doing better. Also. Yes. That's awesome. Um, Dave, oh, I see what you stopped for. I don't know how to pronounce the last name without May butchering. I don't want to butcher it. Yeah. Oh. Where is, where, when and where is your meet? Well, as I haven't, meet. you know, the, the plan is to do a APF meet out here in, uh, Maybe. in close to Portland, Oregon, hopefully. If, and, if you ever print out the entry forms. Well, well, that's the plan. It's in July. It's a week after 4th of July. And, uh, I was going to meander down there with my crew and, uh, and uh, do that. And from my understanding, the APF doesn't even allow band shirts. So I'd be doing a guest. Just like an exhibition. Exhibition thing. Okay. But, you know, it's uh, cool. get my feet wet, you know, and just have fun. And I don't got to I don't gotta pay three plane tickets for three people to come hand off for me. I can just uh, for, drive them down there. And, yeah, that's the game plan. Yeah. Plan attack. Roger, Roger Brome. Brome. What is your best strategy for supporting central nervous system recovery? Uh, not to destroy it. <laughs> um, dude, uh, you know, people just, oh, you know, you gotta know your, your, uh, you gotta know your, your balance, you know, it's basic, uh, physics, you know, you go, if, when I go over a thousand pounds two weeks in a row, I know the third week I'm not going to have nothing. So I tried to, uh, and, but that was when I was younger and, and, uh, doing more supplements, but, uh, now that I'm older, I have to. I write. I write a fine line all the time from uh, father time and uh, central nervous system destruction. So, the method I'm using right now is I do. I'm doing one week uh, where I overload in, in the band shirt, obviously, and then one week where I go uh, without it, and then the, th the third week I try to bring the shirt back. I'm trying to incorporate the shirt more and more because I'm really trying to learn this damn thing. There's a little, I'm um I'm stressing out over these uh, band shirts a little bit, having a a little bit of a learning curve that I need to overcome. So uh, I'm trying to spend more time on those. But uh, be best way is is to uh, uh, what's the uh, law of accommodation? You know, uh, if you no 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 that's not the right one. 
Hill's, uh, Hill's equation. No, I can't think of it. Hey, but you know what? Central nervous system uh, supporting. I don't know if you're talking about uh, uh, any, any, any other way of. So I just try not to destroy it. So, and I don't know what it is to have a completely destroyed CNS. I mean, when I when I visualize that back in the day, I, I look at it as, you know, when I go a thousand pounds and I'm working uh, back in the Phenom in those days, I do two board, doing reps with a thousand pounds off two board for a few weeks in a row. Then I come in the third week and I put the shirt on and I try to go to a thousand pounds and, 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 and uh, 700 usually ends up feeling, feeling like a thousand pounds and moving uh, very slow, like 1100 pounds. So. That's I just I just I just have an idea where I'm at half the time where I don't uh, drive myself too deep in a hole even though I just did it on Friday, that's a little different. Um, that's not driving your uh, central nervous system down. It's just overtraining some certain muscle groups, but uh, try not to destroy it to begin with. John Smith. I don't know if I'm just overlooking it on the website, but I can't find the green viper shirt. Uh, well, do we have? I I don't know. Um. We'll have to talk to John Ellick about that. I haven't been to the website recently. Last time I was on there, I ordered some cuffs, and I saw a Viper 1 on there, I believe. I don't believe I saw the Viper 2. Might have to reach out to John. Um, he's an easy man to contact on Facebook. That's how I get a hold of him. I do have down here, I do have uh, the uh, Bench Monster promo code and his, uh, I don't have his email, like his, uh, his personal email. But uh, take advantage of what you see going across the screen anyway, 10% off. I... I uh, can text uh, John Alex tomorrow, and I believe we got to do some measurements for him tonight anyway. Mm -hmm. And I can I, – sometimes it's a material thing. Like if you can't get the material in, you can't make the Viper 2. So um, I'm sure there's a reason why it's not on the website. Next question. Oh, I didn't know if you were – I'm just going to let this play because I want people to get the discount. Bench okay. sponsor promo code. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Jerry Cool. Ashley, on your deadlift lockout, that was my weakness too. Bands, a lot of bands from block, from block pull, from October to April, I pulled a seventy pound meat PR, only pulling from the floor once in that six months. Um, yeah, like I said, I you know I totally um, believe in bands. The bands are great. My favorite is doubled mini bands, um, which makes one thirty five. What does it make one thirty five? Double mini bands is on a what? Deadlift. Oh, and deadlift when they're doubled, mm -hmm. uh, over 180 pounds, I, I think. Yeah, when, 185 when was what I was thinking. When you drape them um, under and over again, it's a lot. Because, because uh, when we went to LA Fit Expo, Gracie V, um, you know, because the lockout's always been my my issue, and I I didn't do as good on the deadlift as I was wanting, and I was super upset. Um, and and she saw me. I don't know if you know who Gracie V is. She was a huge a huge deal a while back um she still still is but she you know she was she's not i don't think she power lifts anymore but she you know she used to be uh amazing. She, hosted, she hosted the kern meet yeah she hosts the kern yeah. meet yeah 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 um i don't know does she power lift still i don't know i don't know if she can i'm sure she lifts and stuff but anyways super cool amazing woman um you know she saw i was super upset so she came over and was giving me all sorts of um advice and that was the big one was um double mini bands on deadlift um, and just getting as you know strong at that as as I could, so I I like to do those a lot. Like I said, with my back, the way it, it does tend to be like harder on my body, because um, you've got so much tension point down plus the weight. Like, mm. You know, you're trying to get weight on there. Um, so I've kind of been uh, laying low on those, but like I said, I'm kind of getting back, so I'll definitely start throwing those back in and block pulls too. Um, so yes, definitely love all those things. Lots of bands and block pulls and chains and Great chains and bands. I do chains and bands too. Um, okay. One rep max. Where? Right where the cursor is. Oh, I couldn't see that little arrow. Little, little mouth. <laughs> hey guys, seven minutes late. Darn. Darn it. Haha. -ha. How's everything? How's mom? Um, everything's going good. Been a pretty good week. Um, nothing. Crazy to report. Nope. Um, I think mom's mom's doing good. Um, hopefully, we'll be seeing her soon for Mother's Day. Whether yeah. we celebrate it this, this week Sunday or, or next one, yeah. we we need to contact her and kind of see Figure what she's out. thinking. Can't be two we'll definitely do something, but we might be better off doing sitting here this week so that I can see her and my grandma, yeah. and then going up and celebrating the spending the whole day with her the following Sunday. 
Because if we tried to do both, both moms would get, yeah, you know, yeah, like... Yeah, can't do it. I don't want to skip mine, and so... Now in the chat box, it looks like this is when they were taking guesses at okay. who our guests would so be. Who, Mr. So Elite thought, thought Mark we had Henry. A few people thought Mark Henry. I wish Mark Henry. I'd love to have him on the show. Um, we could talk about things. It'd be interesting. I yeah. definitely... He, he Ten would, years later, or whatever. He would deny it ever happened. I never, I never got in his face. Or who knows? I don't know. Who knows? He's a, he's might be well, bad. Well, he can't do that because there's a lot of there were a lot of witnesses. Yeah, there. it's so long ago. Yeah. Okay, Jerry Cool got it right. Yeah. T. Pressifer got it, it right. It was a second guess too. Ed Cohn. It is Scott. Mc uh, we're hoping one of these days he needs to get on that because I'm not probably gonna have a whole lot of. Yeah, pull. I I but can make that happen. We all know for Ryan, he probably would. I think. Gillespie, Gillespie we too. To I, I, I forgot Ryan about Bill. To do that, so we can have Ed Cohn on the show. Bill Gillespie wanted to be on the show. Um, and we need to have him too. Yeah, because oh, he, he responded to him. He never responded to him. Boy, I, I did. I ty I typed. I typed it, but I was like a long reply. And I, okay. Because yeah, he reached out to you. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I'm super busy. I'll, I'll remind me later. <laughs> Third and vote I'll for Mindy. I apologize for the delayed response. Adrian. I, I totally I have a response in there. Herberwine. Jimmy is an amazing person, humble as can be. I've trained with yes. him a few times. That's cool. Yeah, we I mean we, we've met him once. I think we spent Jimmy. a couple times with yeah. him. But yeah, we've met him and he was awesome. super nice. Just yeah. very down to earth. Silent assassin. <laughs> yes. Tiny <laughs> Meeker, good evening. Good to see you. Good to see Tiny. Tiny. Glad you could make it. Uh, Mendel, uh, John Smith has a question, and I got to think this one over. Has Mendelssohn ever beat you in a contest? Let's see. Well, we shared the Mendelssohn stage when he was he was a guest lifter in his own contest, and I won that show. I don't know if Mendelssohn got a lift that me. I don't know. We went to the Ukraine, and he almost had me there on a second attempt, but I came through on a third. So I'm going to say the platform that we have shared only – once is that right yeah. went to the ukraine together i can't i don't know i've done so many meets i don't remember Mendel's... Have to ask him yeah well, I mean, well, well i'm sure mendelson will have uh, a flip I'm side sure, to that coin he has he'll t i mean yeah i'm sure he'll he'll, he'll not, correct me he'll on that you. one yeah he's I mean, his memory is uh stronger than mine mary ask you Mary Askew. Hi, Ash. I hope you get a band shirt soon. Nice bench. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And you too with your 400 easy more in the tank. That's yeah. amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. But thank you. Those things are awesome, aren't they? So much fun. Very cool. Glad, you're, glad you joined us tonight. Always great to have you. Hopefully you can come down sometime on a Saturday. Um, and we'll, hopefully we'll get to hang out at the meet in July. I'm hoping... Yeah, we gotta. I gotta get the registration in, but I'm yeah. hoping, planning on doing it. So, um, we can maybe hang out then too. Um, One right, Max. Oh wait. Damn. So Miss Condre benches as much as I do now. Got to get my rear into gear. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're throwing up some weight now on the bench. I band. love that thing. I want to sew it into my body so bad, just so that I can just use it at meets and just always, always bench that. It's so cool, so fun. One rep max. Your bench. Really good for over. What's up? I guess I'm. I guess I'm done with that question. I was skipping forward here. I see that. I don't. I wait till you're done. I wait till you're no longer talking. I got excited. I see that. But one rep max. What's he got to say here? <sighs> By my max effort lift there. Your benches look fast. At Miss Mr. Canelli, your benches look fast. Just looks like you hit a wall. Be because of the bands, because no. Because of the bands. Uh, the bands do play a factor, yeah. Um, but also, uh, fatigued front delts uh, didn't help matters much. Mary asks you, hey, one rep max, welcome to the dark side. You'll love geared lifting. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. I love it. Showbit. Showbit Jane, how's it going, Bench Monster fam? Bam. Going well. I like it. I love. I know. I love it. Cause it is. You know, we got a lot of the same people. Awesome people every week that, that tune in that and, and tune listen to us. us you know, two, two morons weirdos. just yeah. yammering about lifting in front of a camera. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but we, we we bring a lot of uh, uh, excitement to a Thursday just, night. Did you have those always been up there? Huh? Just look forward. Okay. Yeah. 
just focus on the prize. Well, clearly I have been because yeah. I have. I, I Don't just, worry about I what's going been. on anywhere else. You just focus on this uh, chat box. Job number one. Hat. Don't flip this hat off. I just got it. I know. Okay. Elmer. Elmer. Enriquez. Enriquez. Does dumbbell rollover help me get out of a plateau? I'm assuming he's talking about rolling dumbbells. Yeah. Um, I assume so. Possibly. I mean, obviously, they're going to strengthen your triceps. And if you strengthen your triceps, you can get out of a plateau, like a lockout issue. But it uh, depends on where your plateau. I mean, if you're just flat on the bench altogether, there's a, just changing up things in general can help you get out of a plateau. Because a lot of times people are doing the same things over and over again, expecting a, a different outcome. So, But they uh, definitely could help. One, Just one small way that they can help. Because they, if you do them... Uh, a few weeks at a time and switch uh, exercises like I like to do. You never, you know, keeps the body guessing. T Pressifer, talk about Mindy's lifts, 715 raw and a 1036. I think you're right. That's what mm-hmm. I wanted to say. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I knew the 715 bike. The 1036 two, or no, 1030, it was 1031 because Kolb beat the 275. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did 10, yeah, it was 1031, I believe. But we can ask the man himself when he's on the show. Yep, we'll be able to get the. Get the facts there, huh? Yes. Yeah. Jerry Cool. Jerry Cool. Show starts at 9 p.m. here, and it's the last two hours of my work day. So if Scott is 100% go, next week I will take PTO, personal, personal time, time off. off, so I can leave work, oh, no. so I can make sure all 439 questions get asked to Big Mendy. That could be a long show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I I think it might. I mean, gonna, I think it easily could be. How I usually do it is uh, usually Monday well. morning when I wake up, I make the call and then I throw out the YouTube uh, thumbnail and and uh, if it's a go, you know. But you know, it, Mendelson, I mean, anything can happen between now and next Thursday at seven. And, and but if everything works out, I mean, it, we should have a go. One wrap. Dude, getting stuck under the J hooks is the scariest effing thing. Holy hell, you okay, Mr. Yeah. K? Yeah, it happened on floor press there. Um, I knew, but yeah, it's obvious. I mean, when that third rep came up and it was a three quarter rep, I knew when I came down because that's the dying quail thing. You know, it's like complete lockout, okay. three quarter, and I knew the next one was just it wasn't going to go that far. So I, that's why I got my legs in the in the uh, birthing position and. Uh, Threw my hips in the air and, and yeah, and, and had theatrics like that. So, <laughs> hey, laugh now. But when it, it, it is when it's, I under, wasn't expecting when it's under the upright. Well, they, they weren't expecting it to get it stuck under the uprights either. Laugh the first but time. I, I push, man. I don't, I don't care. It wasn't pretty, but you know what? I was, I was kind of pissy that day. I didn't want to. I, I wanted to be strong. It's a Tuesday, and I, when I walk through the door, and then two sixty five feels like four sixty five. I'm pissed. So, okay, wonder at Max. Next question. Yes, Mendy. The drinking game is still on. No. I love it. Ha ha. Remember every time he says, bro, take a shot. I got some Crown Royal upstairs. I'll, t- I'll be so taking the, a sip. I can't take it. Yeah. want to play the drinking game, come ready. Every time he says, bro, you got to take a drink. My liver would melt through my body. <laughs> that much liquor. Um, Howard Weingarten. <laughs> it's like he's got a question for you. Ashley, I have the same problem. Louis said to do isometrics pulls in a rack from just under the point where you start having the problem to your lockout and hold for three to six seconds. I have done those before. They're not something I do on a regular basis, but I have done those before because I, I have heard that. Um, yeah, I do, I've well, probably does Louis say? Isn't, I thought Louis said isometrics should be their own workout. So does that mean that you do that? You're. I heard him say that in a video, and I never asked I him in person, but. Part. I don't know if that's something that uh, should be done in its own workout. And the bench-wise, too, you know, when you have a sticky point in the bench. But I've seen, like, um, oh, who's that? Uh, drawn up blank. Uh, I've seen a guy uh, do an uh, isometric press against uh, uh, a bar and then immediately go over and do a 600 uh, bench. So, and that was, um, God, I'm forgetting his name. Out of Florida. Taurus Peck doing... Uh, Oh, drawing a complete blank. Haven't heard his name in a while, so I can't think of it. Man, Alzheimer's is really kicking in. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I'll think of it in a second, but uh, I'm just curious about that. So you're doing uh, isometric holds, like pulls against the... I, I've done yeah. it before. I, I've set it up like, what, like I've tried it before, but I don't... Hmm. I, it's not something that I do on a regular basis. I mean, maybe, maybe it's something I should... 
start throwing in more consistent. It'll work fifty percent above and below. So above and below your sticky point at that at that position. So that's yeah, right. I I because I am um, open to ideas for my lockout. Like I said, I I you know I've been trying a lot of different things, and I definitely think they have bands and chains are the biggest because they just like help physically of course but like also mentally because they just train my brain like that once yeah. i get it off the floor it's harder. not gonna be well during yeah during it and then once you know i think i just think there's a lot of translation you know from those to or carry over however you want to put it um because once you know after i've trained them for a while like I'll, I'll go like a month where i'm where i'm working with them pretty consistently right and then um you know and then once i start taking them off and doing more without them again um i just my brain is it you know, it flies off the floor. The floor is my strong point. So I get it off the floor and I'm like, it's not because usually I'm like, oh, shoot, this is where it's going to get hard. But now it's like, oh, it's going to stay the same, same exact weight. It's right. not going to nothing's pulling down on me where it's getting heavier well, as I pull and nothing. You know, there's no extra weight that's coming off the ground like that's making it heavier. Like, so it just like hmm. trains my brain. I, I really believe in bands and chains on the on deadlifts for sure for lockout strength. Yeah. I agree with you. Brian Forbes, what up? He said, wave if you see this. Brian Forbes is a bad mother effer. <laughs> Strong venture right yes. there. He's yes. going to do some big things. Glad to have you here, Brian. Howard Weingarten. Where? Right There's here. There's like several. Howard Weingarten. Gil Bill Gillespie is my inspiration, and it would be great to have him on the show. Mm -hmm. Me being 56 and him... 61 very cool yeah he's on he, yes, I, we'd love to have him he, on. He, he wanted to be on amazing. last november or something and then time to the holidays we'll, we'll get him on I we'll get I him think, on i mean yeah did he say it like he would he, he, he yeah he wanted i don't yes. know it was it was something i don't know i don't know yeah he, we're gonna we're gonna get him don't worry definitely definitely uh one rep max one rep max at Mary Askew, yes, I love geared lifting. I use an Inzer triple, triple denim. Dip. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Robert Hernandez, how do I get forearms like that? Well, I have a, I have a, a couple ways. Um, when I was younger, I used to have my grandpa used to have those gripper things. And he didn't have like the cheap ones you get at Walmart that any like eight year old can do. The, this was like. Um, these were like pretty tough. And I remember uh, my grandfather could do it like 10 times and I could do it like three times. And I remember I lived on those for a while. And then I just trained forearms at the gym, just doing a lot of uh, standing wrist curls with barbells. And then I got a fancy, uh, um, let me go get it. Hold the show down. I'll be back. Well, I'm going to move on with the questions then. Yes, I am. What do you want me to talk about? I'm going to go to the next question. Which is apparatus. Vanguard. My apparatus. All right. You're quick right enough. I keep it close. This has adjustable springs on it. So when you're sitting around, you're watching TV, you just work this son of a bitch. And it's on the easiest setting right now. This is phenomenal. This was a gift to me from Monster Muscle Superstore a long time ago. Yeah, I used to have those in the back of the That's cool. their magazine. So, yeah, have this bad boy. Use it all the time. Just different little apparatuses to, you know, get those chicken wings. Oh, Meeker has those too. I don't yes, know. He, he I don't does. know what he does. He totally yeah. does. A lot of the uh, great benchers, you know, Gus Rethwich always told me. That makes sense. Said that uh, all the greatest benchers had big forearms. Ken Lane, our CD, so on and so forth. That makes sense. So, I think benching just makes them grow too. Uh, Vanguard. Vanguard. Hey Ryan, I've asked this before, I think, but have you heard of powerlifters? Using A bombs and D bombs in the same cycle. I know I did. I know specific people that have done that and have tremendous results and they work, but you better have liver and uh, kidney protector stuff going down too. Don't just take it just to take it. Think about your insides that are being tortured also. So they do work phenomenally well together um, a short period of time. You don't want to do those too long together. I say four to five weeks and then you do your show and then you. Get off of those. You will put Swiss cheese holes in your organs sometimes. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. If you're young, you know you can you don't can you that. can spin the bottle then a little you bit, still but shouldn't do that. You get old, it you don't do it anymore. Oh, kind to your body. 
Jeremy Hornstra. That is correct. That that's who horrible. I was. That's who I was Especially referencing. Jeans, huh? Jeremy Hornstra. I forgot his name. Um, he used to do the static isometric presses, oh. and then he would run over and then do six hundred like it was nothing. And I, I remember seeing him do that. And and that's why I asked: Is isometric should be in its own? Yeah. You know, thank you, yeah. uh, demand. But that doesn't sound like it was in its own workout. If you no, and and what? I don't understand. I mean, I guess you can. I would listen to Louie, of course. I mean, I wouldn't do anything other than what he would tell me. But I saw Jeremy do that. Like a, he went and laid on the ground and pushed against the rack for like 15 seconds. And he walked over to the bench and he, the weight just like flew out of his hand. So that was some yeah. correlation of doing it before. I offered it to my guys the other day to try that like a week or two ago. We, we should go over and try the isometric presses and then come over. Because I think that uh, when you push against that weight and you, you carry that over while there's still uh, that time under tension within your body a little bit there and um i want to try it sometime just for shits and giggles so yeah. what are max lol tips mr Canelli. Yo. damn you are what you eat reference to your shirt from two weeks ago jk yeah love you guys oh, i love that i meet i'm meal prepping so i'm sure i'm opt out too ha 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 mary ask you one rep max that's crazy Soon that's referring to the one up here. Yeah. That he lifts in a ends or triple. Ends or triple. Denim. Yeah. <laughs> Forbes. Uh, Brian Forbes. I watch even when I can't hear. Awesome, Brian. We appreciate that. Glad, always glad to have you. Um, Bill E. Cheesesteak. Mm. Bill E. Cheesesteak. Took a video from the four o'clock angle yesterday. Noticed I have very little control in the last two inches of the lift. What would you all employ to train this tendency out? Uh, Phil, can you send me that? If you have a video, please send it to my email. Where's it at there? Oh, there it is. Uh, if you can send it to my video, I can answer that question within the email. Yep, that's how we'll do it. One rep max, last question. One rep max. At Mary Askew. Oh, snap. I misspelled your name. I'm sorry. I was driving. Ha, ha, ha. But they are really good shirts. Yes. Yeah, Mary is actually I'm, the, I'm... the meat promoter and APF uh, yeah, the meat that person about. that's putting on the contest that we're th thinking about doing the second week of. I'm already thinking about it. I want to do it. Yeah. I want to do it, I mean, too. unless I get hurt. I want to get my feet wet. And uh, I just want to go out and play and have fun. Yeah, I mean, me too. that's all it is to me anymore. It's just fun. Uh, well, and and a passion. Ready. Yeah, but you you are you gonna go um, shirted or raw? Like, you, what if you what if you get a shirt? Because I'm full okay. power. I could go full power, and then, although if band shirts aren't, aren't allowed, allowed, yeah. Well, but if they were, then I could do, do that, and then do a separate division of a bench shirt. I think you can do that, right? I don't know. I'd be kind of weird because you'd probably. Do well, maybe like, we can incorporate the triple X powerlifting in with APF, one. and yeah, so I got I got my own federation too, just like everybody else does. Don't do let that. don't let people what. No, no, I, I was just saying I would do that. No. Or I do my full power raw, and then I pay to go in a separate division and do the, use a band shirt. Oh, got, a, that, got that, another that question at the bottom. Allowed. Oliver Stowe? Oliver Stowe? Oliver Stowe? Oliver Le Stowe, 11. 11. Chains or bands for lockout training? Great uh, show. Oh, whoa. Thank Chains you. or bands for lockout training? Both. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Prefer uh, bands, One preferably. One for a while, then yeah. the other. Sometimes throw on both. There's and it depends on that. It depends on how you're doing your lockouts. Are you doing them in a rack? Are you doing them uh, board pressing? Um, and what lift are you talking about? Are we still talking about deadlift? Or yeah, deadlift. Bench? Well, I just went right to bench. I know, you, I know you did. I went right to deadlift. Yeah. Well, maybe you can start deadlift but TV. Both, maybe. I mean. Ashley's deadlift TV episode. <laughs> uh, Logman. Yep. Uh, see you tomorrow, Ryan, before I went go in. Okay. Uh, Dan Logman coming down to weigh in for the meet this Saturday. He's doing a USPA meet, and uh, we're going to go support him Saturday morning. He's going to go for a record. It's going to be awesome, and uh, oh, cool. he'll be down tomorrow to weigh in. And, uh, and Where is he from? Pendleton, Oregon. Okay. He's 45 minutes away. Well, Drives here every hardcore. every Tuesday night to throw around weights with us, man. That's cool. And we appreciate having him. We like people that uh, show up and want to do this. And uh, I still haven't gotten to meet him. Well, he's there Tuesday night. I know, I work. And he kicks ass. I'm working during that time, which sucks. All right, one rep max has got a question. Okay, guys, I'll let you go. Have a great rest of your week. Tell mom I say hi. We will. Hope the delts, we will, yes, definitely. Hope the delts recover soon, Mr. Canelli. Got shirted bench tomorrow, but that seem, seems looks 
like it's about to go kaput. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a great night. Thank you for tuning in as usual. We appreciate you. Always, always good to have Howard you. Howard Weingarten's going to clarify something here. You can do ISO as primary work or as assistance work as a whole day's workout. Oh. No, or not. No. Um, I don't know. Is it a clear? If I was a, if I was a, want to clarify that, I would call Louis Simmons and ask him. You should. Yeah. Should. And I just remember him saying, and, and I watch all Louis' videos. So I'm not in the conjugate club yet. I really want to sign up for that though, because you always get little snippets in, uh, yeah, in, um, in uh, Instagram and and Facebook of Louis talking, and I could sit for days and just listen to that man talk days, and even talk about just talk about the same stuff over again. It's still interesting. I just can't get enough of uh, okay. what, he, what he says. Oh yeah. And it irks me that we went out there for five days and we saw him for five minutes. I know. Son of we a got bitch. to have breakfast. He bought our breakfast. Yeah, I know, but I, I, I know his wife was having. I, I know. And I, I'm gonna bring it back to if you would have given him more notice, I told you to tell. I, I said you should have called months in. I mean, maybe not well, a month, but a month in advance, and said, "Hey, on, we're coming down for the Arnold. We'd love to spend time with you." Louis has got a I lot of things on his plate. Right. So with a week's notice, he can't do as much as he could if he had a month or more's yeah. notice which is why i started bugging you i think i did start bugging you, you probably you a were bugging me yeah. i was well <laughs> yeah, i problem. feel bad now <laughs> I, we talked remember remember we walked into breakfast and we sat down i've already, and, I've already brought that up that i think we, we would have gotten more time with him i, if asked, he I asked louie about the band shirts what he thought of them and we had a small conversation and i mean we got to see him for about yeah. 25 minutes probably are you oh it was like 10 if anything yeah. Next question. I mean, Show bit. We had enough time to eat. and Well, I guess we didn't. Have. All I know is I took his coffee. He did drink his coffee. <laughs> Louis drank out of that cup. I know. He <laughs> did. He drank his coffee. He was super excited yep. about it. Straight black it coffee. It was super cool. Louis, Louis Simmons bought our breakfast. I just, sure. I do wish we had more. Because the plan was we were, you know, hoping to also, you know, go to the gym with him. Yeah, they heard this song and dance before. I know. Show bit has a question. Daniel... Rajov, yep, I'm saying that right, can be a great guest to have someday on the right show. Down, due I, don't to know. Beast. I don't know who that I'm is. I'm not familiar with him. Yeah, we'll have to look. I'm sure, he's him. a lifter. Let me write. How do you spell that name? We're definitely open to ideas from you guys. Uh, R Y. That's a weird last R Y J O V. Okay, well, I'll look him up. Uh, next question. Van Guard. Ryan and Ashley, God bless you guys. Thank you for sharing your passion with us. Maga Usa Latino right here. Well, thank you thank for you, joining Vanguard. us. We appreciate you and um, appreciate the kind words. We're, we're so glad you joined us. Next question is talking about my sodas here. Diet or regular on those sodas? Don't um, drink this regular. This is ice water, for the record. Uh, diet Coke Zero. Ice water. And we go to Firehouse Subs, I get the Diet uh, Barks Root Beer. Yeah, when we go to Firehouse oh, Subs, I get the yeah, Diet Root diet Beer. Diet Root Beer. Well, they have Sprite. They have my two. They have uh, Sprite Zero and Root Beer Zero. So I like. What's have a little bit. Of what's really addictive is the doc, Diet Doctor Pepper been loving that. cream if you're soda. Doctor Pepper fan. Oh. Doctor Pepper cream soda. It's not. It's I mean, just like if that. You already like Doctor Pepper. It's just got a nice. Yeah. Nice little creamy twist to it. like it's, and people are picking it up like ho good. hoarding the shit. Yeah, we so go, go to, to the store buy one day it and, you can't and so, find yeah, it. it's hard to find because the people that have found it. Uh, enjoy it. It's got a it's got a unique addictive flavor to it. It is it is good. I ain't gonna lie. Flavor compounds. All right, Howard Weingarten. I still do listen to him for hours and days. I <laughs> hear ya. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Howard Weingarten, Ryan, do you remember what Louis said about band shirts? Yeah, I sat down and I brought that conversation up. I said, Louis, what do you think about these uh, band shirts? I said, you know, I. I I, I are they are they cheating and 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 Louis basically just said you know it's uh it's uh it's it's evolution of uh evolution of the sport, sport and just that, like back when you know you have the, well he re, no he re, he referenced muscle cars mm -hmm. he made a reference about muscle cars and uh ba but basically I was asking him you know if I was to get in one of these shirts would it tarnish everything I've done and he just basically said as no as soon as he like as soon as you had that talk with him i noticed it was like you got permission to use band tricks yeah. and that's when you like got yeah more into him yeah, so I, I, that's right because i really wasn't like you had his permit because he, he was totally like uh con condoning is that right? yes if, if louie would have said that totally he... like saying yeah i mean that's 
Yeah. You know? He said. Because back in the day, you didn't have like these shirts that had several, you know. No. It's the same thing. It's just the evolution. And he's like, if you don't evolve. Yep. You, you know. If you don't evolve. Yep. That's got, what he said. You're not going to win. You know. If everybody else is evolving and you're stuck in the old. Old, old well, and I, and I told Louie, I said, you know, we're, I said, with these shirts, Louie, I think we're going to see like, you know, a lot of people mention a thousand pounds easily, you know, and, and uh, he didn't, he didn't seem too upset about anything. He was excited and just, yeah, just yeah, gave me the, gave me the green light to like go with it. And that's when he That's kind of when I started going with him. So yeah, fine. Get totally, any shirts. Totally how it was. Okay. One wrap's got one more question before he goes. Okay. One last question before I go. <laughs> the most important thing. How does Louie like his coffee? Which All black. There, uh, when I drank like it, you kind of guess, right? Yeah, nothing in it. That's kind of. Right. We were there at that restaurant. At, uh, it opened at six. We were there at five twenty-five. And he was apparently already in there. And he was somehow Which sucks because we should have went in there. Well, th- did he get in before? I don't know, dude. Here's the interesting thing because his car was there, and I sat there. Well, no, we didn't know what his car looked. Like. Yeah, but the the restaurant lights were on in there, but I did not see a because Wes McCormick pulled up third. And when Wes McCormick got out of his car, I stood up, and I think Josh uh, Conley Mm -hmm. was there. And then Louie never walked in. So, like, he got in before us. I swear to God, he was in before us. He probably was. We were watching for him. Yeah. We were waiting for Louie to show up. I think he somehow was already in there, which means how early did he get in there? We we got at that restaurant 525 and sat there for 30 minutes, and he he was already in there. Was that for that long? Yes. There was two cars in the parking lot. We parked them, and he was over here. Yeah. So... He's got a special pull. Yes. Because was it before they opened? Oh, before yeah, they opened at six. He would was. They, he was would, at, would they have let us in? I don't know. They, they, they let Louie in because we'll they, they, they yeah, it's his restaurant. You. Yusef Mohsen. Hey, big hey. fan from Austin, Texas. Beautiful, nice. beautiful city down there, Austin, awesome. Texas. Man, lucky yes. you. Yes. Yes. Very. Very. Good night, one rep max. Yep, good night. Have a great rest of your week. Have a good Friday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Good weekend. We made it through the week. Yet another. Woohoo. What's Howard Weingarten talking about here? I'm confused. No, no. Dr. Pepper mixed with Bark's root beer. The, the bomb? bomb? No way. That sounds weird. That's <laughs> weird. Howard, are you making things up? Because root beer and Dr. Pepper don't go good together. Do they? Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't All know. right. Well, I mean, I know what he's saying, but I... I like them separate. I mean, everybody, you know, is different. We'll have to try it. Phil we'll have to try it E. At, uh... Cheesecake, and then we out of here. Phil E. Cheesesteak. Bench Monster's got a pee. <laughs> so curious about the Dr. Pepper. We'll have to try it. When we get our polars, we'll just do like a small sample. Dr. Pepper and They're root beer? They're both good. Yeah, I just don't know. It's like peanut butter and mustard, isn't it? Yeah, but the root beer might give you that creamy flavor at the end. Mm, we'll know. see. Uh... Billy cheesesteak. Louie has probably been there so many times that they just let him in. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's he, what we're they, thinking, they, too. They, I think yeah. they go there all the time. Well, my question is, when the hell did he get there? I don't know. Because we were there at 525, and that car was, I mean, was he, was he there at 5? I wish we would have. It's none of my business. I, I and, don't know. And Wine Garden says, hell yeah, just try it. I don't think we were quite there. <laughs> I will try, we'll Howard, we'll try, we'll try at our it. next uh, stop at where? The... Circle K. They, they don't have root beer and Dr. Pepper in the same. Um, They don't have diet, but they have, okay. Dr. Well, they have, they diet, have, they have Dr. Pepper. They have diet at, at Firehouse. Firehouse subs, yeah. Because they have every drink you can imagine. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay. Every flavor. Hey. Uh, Monday morning, I will call Mendelssohn. I will confirm. Can I will I make social media because it'll be posted I, there. I'll post that one, yeah, because we'll have him on here. and We'll let him run the show, and we'll just have our basic questions, nothing exciting. We'll let Mindy ramble, and and uh, it could be a very long show. If you guys have a lot of questions, that's gonna, that's gonna. Feel, cut. And feel free think be thinking. I mean, this is our sh- you know your shot to ask. Him. Shot to ask you questions. Keep it appropriate and yeah, no, respectful. We, yeah, we don't ask political but questions. We know you guys will. We don't ask I staring mean, questions. You know, we keep keep it all up and up, and uh, be respectful to the guests, and uh, it'll, it'll be fun. Been amazing so far. Yeah, so. he's he's an awesome individual, and uh, hopefully we get. Uh, uh, a cool side of Mendelssohn that night, and we will. yeah, and uh, he's Thinking a good about spirit. What you want to ask him. I want to pick his brain a little bit about the Texas Power Bar he received, uh, how, what bench shirts he's using. Um, yeah, I got questions uh, aside from our normal questions, and uh, it'll be fun. And I hope it goes down. And uh, like I say, usually Monday morning when we ha- if we have a guest for Thursday, Monday I try to pump it out there on the uh, social media pipeline, and uh, 
and uh, set it all up, get him Skyped in, and uh, we do a practice run Wednesday night with him for like 15 minutes and uh, make sure everything's uh, running cool. And hopefully our internet, um, I got to pay the bill. I just got the bill in the mail. So keep our internet's been working pretty good tonight. Hopefully it stays that way this next week, and especially on Thursday night. We overload the circuitry in the YouTube algorithm. We'll see. Uh, yeah. So that being said, uh, I'm excited. Show. Good night, guys. Big Scott. Yeah, have him on the yeah, show. It'll be awesome. Very exciting. Uh, he's reached out me out to me twice now, and uh, I and I'll be on his show too. I'll be on his podcast if I got to fly down there. And uh, at least at his podcast, I think he serves food. Oh really? Yeah, I seen Larry Williams uh, uh, was there, and uh, uh, they were they brought in food. So as you're being interviewed, you can eat like food. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that on my show yeah, yet. That was just for Larry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you Thank guys have you a so great much week. Thank you for joining us. Yep. Have a great finish to your week tomorrow. It's Friday. Happy Friday. We made it. Enjoy your weekend. Relax. Do some fun things. Enjoy time with your family and friends. And we will look forward to seeing you next week here, hopefully, with Mendy, the one Scott. and only. Big Scott, Scott Mendelson. Yep. yep. Uh, well, anyway, good night, everybody. It's the Bench Monster signing off. Have a great night.